The Ghana Public Service Union today issued an ultimatum to the government to meet at the bargaining table, the failure of which will result in industrial action. Now, this decision was unanimously decided at the union's statutory executive council meeting held on February 21st, 2024. Further, the union said the issues affecting workers in the public service and government's reluctance to meet at the bargaining table or to conciliate to break the deadlock that has arisen were discussed extensively at the union's meeting with its members throughout the country. According to the union, this is to immediately end the government's breach of the following guiding instructions of legal weight and force. The agreement for the avoidance and settlement of disputes between the government of Guyana and the Guyana Public Service Union of 1987, Article 147.3 of the Constitution of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana and Section 23.1 of the Trade Union Recognition Act, Chapter 9707. In its statement, the GPSU said it places reliance on the conventions of the International Labour Organization ratified by the Parliament of Ghana, including Convention No. 87 concerning freedom of association and protection of the right to organize, Convention No. 98 on the right to organize and collective bargaining, and Convention 151 on the labor relations which exposes minimum standards of the conduct for collective bargaining and the protection of the rights of workers to be unionized and be represented by the duly certified and recognized union with respect to any decision on the part of their employer that affects their salaries, wages, benefits and other conditions of service. The union said it will continue to engage its members on this matter over the coming days through a committee which was established to ensure that the GPSU is mobilized and all grievance procedures under the existing agreement are followed and were issued and thereafter execute the ultimatum now directed to the government.